Welcome back, guys. Listen, I have a, a quick word. If you are the first to live righteously in the family or break generational curses off of your bloodline, you must lift yourself and your destiny up in prayer. If you do not do so, it could be detrimental because you are doing something that nobody else has done in your bloodline. And it is so heavy. It is so imperative that we are covered by the Most High while we are breaking these generational curses and breaking these bloodline um curses off of our family like these are bloodlines that go way 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 back before we were ever born and we have to understand that the enemy does not want us to break these uh open doors thank you holy spirit that's what they are they're open doors for him to come in and manipulate our family members and control our family members and control us if even possible so we have to remember to stay in prayer while we are breaking these generational curses and um, getting these bloodlines back in check per the most high of course prayer is your protection y'all always remember that you will be tempted just like jesus remember when he got baptized in the book of matthew i think it was chapter three and then right after he got baptized in that next chapter chapter four i think it was uh he got tempted by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights and it's the same with some of us once you get to that place where you have given your life and submitted to the most high then the enemy starts to attack you know how y'all ever hear some people say i don't know when i gave my life to christ all of a sudden everything done gone wrong that's because the enemy is attacking you because now you have to be tested and while you're being tested while you're going through that process of being tested where the most high can make sure that he can trust you the enemy gets to run amok a little bit because he done got a little permission to do so so while he's doing that just like he did with job he couldn't he couldn't unalived job but he could torment him and destroy and take away everything from job okay and we have to remember that the most high um what's the word father chastens who he loves he tries who he loves because you can't be no sucker I'm your father and I'm going to make sure that you are the best of the best, okay? You can't be a prophet of mine. You can't be a disciple of mine. You can't be a prophetess of mine if you are not willing to go through my process. My process is to make you better. My process to is to make sure that you are loyal to not only me, he says, but also loyal to the destiny that I showed you. That's why he gives everyone vision of what's to come in their life because he not only gives you that to help you to move forward in the process and to give you hope and faith that's why he gives you messages through messengers to uplift you and keep you faithful and keep you excited about what your destiny holds but he also wants to make sure that you can withstand to get to the destiny and get through the destiny if you can't get to and through the destiny then what are you here for you understand and he wants to also make sure that you are loyal to him because don't nobody want no loyal servant no loyal child no um excuse me no unloyal servant no unloyal child okay don't nobody want that and he doesn't want it either so he's gonna make sure that you're where you need to be so before you start father when it's gonna when it's gonna happen when it's gonna be when we're gonna do this when we do that just wait just wait there's a scripture that he gave me he gave me Hebrews chapter 6, verse 15, which states, And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. Patiently waited, okay? That means we have to patiently wait until he gives us the promise. And he'll give us the promise when he's finished pruning us. And that's this is something I've learned, you know. He has to prune us. And once he gets done pruning us and blessing us with patience, because through the process, you get patience you get patience you hear me <laughs> you get patience okay because it's a process he gonna take you through it to see how long you can endure to see if you can get and not not how long you can endure but to see that you can endure and to see that that patience is going to be built you're going to grow i'm telling y'all it's so worth the journey but you cannot just be like i'm just tired i'm i don't want to pray for them no more i don't want to do this no more blah 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 at the end of the day the most high will not rush you but he will make sure that once you get to the place where you need to be he will push you forward 
That way you can, he can accelerate. He can expedite. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He will expedite you. He's not going to rush you. But just know when you're ready, oh, he's going to expedite it. You ain't going to be waiting. So if you're not there yet, that means you're not ready. So have patience and wait. Okay, guys? Peace and blessings.